President Obama has laid out a strict agenda, including tougher gun control measures. Now, the NRA is firing back. NRA Chief Executive Wayne LaPierre addressed a hunting and conservation convention in Reno, Nevada, saying Mr. Obama was making a mockery of the Declaration of Independence. Obama wants you to believe that putting the federal government right in the middle of every firearms transaction, except those between criminals, will somehow make us all safer. There's only two reasons for a federal list on gun owners to either tax them or take them. It's the only reason. Mr. LaPierre pounded home familiar themes that the Second Amendment rights are God-given, a birthright, and not open to interpretation while attacking Mr. Obama's use of the term absolutism. The Washington Post has the background of Mr. Obama's address. In his speech on Monday, Mr. Obama said that being true to our founding documents does not require us to agree on every contour of life. It does not mean we all define liberty in exactly the same way, implying that the constitutional provisions need to be interpreted to suit today's changed world. While LaPierre's speech was warmly received in Reno, media outlets found some flaws. Politico believes Mr. LaPierre took liberties in his interpretation of the president's proposals. The White House has not sought to create a universal list of gun owners. Its proposal would require all gun purchasers to submit to a federal background check to guard against felons or the mentally ill from acquiring firearms. And LaPierre quoted former Supreme Court Justice Hugo Black on Tuesday night, saying Black understood the dangers of self-appointed arbiters of what freedom really means. The Huffington Post says that is a dubious comparison. Black is a problematic hero for LaPierre. In 1939, Black and fellow Supreme Court justices ruled unanimously in a landmark gun control case, United States versus Miller, that the Second Amendment does not protect blanket access for citizens to any type of firearm. Still, LaPierre's message is resonating with the population who say the president has gone too far. A recent Washington Post ABC News poll shows slightly more than half of all Americans, 52 percent, support stricter gun control measures. Just 5 percent say they support less gun control. This week, before LaPierre's address on Tuesday night, the host of MSN said traditional arguments have shifted. Whatever the NRA gives over the next two years to, out, to candidates, outside groups are going to give more. Newtown changed everything. But gun rights advocates aren't about to give up without a fight. Gun sales are at record levels as the battle heads to the next level. The New York Times says you might want to get used to some fiery rhetoric. Debate is likely to begin in the days ahead as Mr. Obama's allies in Congress formally introduce legislation seeking a ban on assault weapons, limits on high capacity magazines, and an enhanced and expanded background check system for gun purchases. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy.